and we want to welcome all of you to today's online travel presentation, Discover Western Canada. My name is Kristen, and I will be your moderator for today's presentation. We understand this is not an easy time to travel. This is a perfect time to start cracking open those travel books and prepping where you want to be. Before we begin today's presentation, I would like to go over a few things. First, we will hold all questions until the end. If you do have questions during the presentation, please type them in the question box in the GoToWebinar toolbar and we will cover them at the end. Second, we will have two questions during the presentation and we encourage you to participate by submitting your answer in the GoToWebinar question box. And lastly, this webinar will be recorded and, we, and will be available after the presentation. First, I'm going to take a moment to introduce ourselves. My name is Kristen and I'm the Marketing Coordinator for Vacations by Rail and the moderator for this online travel presentation. And shortly you will meet Suzanne, Vacations by Rails Rail Specialist and your presenter today. So we're going to start with our first question to get to know you a bit more. Have you ever visited Western Canada? So go ahead and submit your answer in the GoToWebinar question box. So keep getting those answers in, but for now, I'm seeing some of you have said yes, you have, and a few haven't, so a good mix of answers, um, which is perfect because Western Canada offers a lot of beautiful scenery and plenty to explore, which we're going to get into soon. So that doesn't, so it does make it, um, excuse me, it does make it a great travel destination. And whether you have or haven't visited yet, we're going to get into the breath of some of our best packages that will hopefully spark some inspiration for your next trip. So first I'm gonna um, tell you a little bit about Vacations by Rail, a little bit about us. In addition to the wide variety of vacations we offer around the globe, we also offer best-in-class customer care with a dedicated rail specialist to assist you from your first call until you return home from your vacation. We are the leading rail vacations company in the United States, offering the largest selection of independent rail vacations, escorted rail tours, rail cruise combinations, and luxury rail journeys. We have the Trusted Authority on Rail, a member of the National Tour Association and the American Bus Association, with a Better Business Bureau a rating. We are also AERP's preferred rail provider. We're a great rail journeys company, backed by more than 45 years of experience in the specialty of global rail vacation. And we deliver unmatched service and first class, and, oh, excuse me, un, we deliver unmatched vacations and first class service to destinations around the globe. We also offer extensive vacation options aboard the world's iconic trains. So why take a rail vacation? It's a unique way to see parts of the country not accessible through other modes of transportation. You leave the navigation and driving to someone else. You mix iconic trains with fantastic destinations and improve sightseeing. Rail travel is an integral part of the vacation experience, not just a travel component. There's no need to stop for meals overnight. Uh, there's no need to stop for meals or overnight accommodations. Everything is available for you from start to finish. And a rail vacation is a great way to meet people from all over the globe. And finally, it's a more eco-friendly way of traveling. Rail travel uses less carbon emission than other modes of transportation. So included in every vacations by rail vacation is a comfortable accommodation centrally located within national parks or in the heart of large cities. Comprehensive sightseeing offering one of a kind of experiences, insider experiences and local expertise, and exceptional customer service from agents who specialize in rail. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our presenter today, Suzanne, one of Vacations by Rail's amazing rail specialist. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Kristen. Thank you for the introduction. Hi, folks. My name is Suzanne, and I've been with Vacations by Rail for over 13 years. Um, today, we'll begin by talking about the Rocky Mountaineer train, which is what, just one of the few trains that we do use when traveling in Canada. It is known as Canada's luxury train. It's a daylight-only um, rail that follows three distinct uh, routes into the heart of the Rocky Mountains, each of which is rich in history and natural wonders. These Rocky Mountain Rail Tours, they usually depart from Vancouver. However, travelers can also elect to follow the routes in reverse if they'd like, beginning their journey in the Rockies and making their way to coastal Vancouver. So you do have a few options there. There is also a route that tracks through the rainforest of, west, of the West Coast, stopping in Whistler, Quesnel, before proceeding to Jasper, which is, as you all know, surrounded by the dramatic peaks of the Rockies. 
Now, again, I said earlier, this is a daylight train. And what that means is that it only runs during the day so that you're not missing any of the scenery. And at night, of course, we do stop, stay at hotels. That's always included in the tour cost. All right, so moving on to the next slide, we're just going to talk about the two levels of service that are offered on board the Rocky Mountaineer. Um, we do offer gold leaf service and silver leaf service. With the gold leaf service, now this is the top level that you can get to choose from. You'd be seated in, a, in the top level of a bi-level dome car. So the dome is on top, you'd be seated there the whole time, very panoramic views. Lower level of that same car is a dining car where you do get to eat your meals um, on board that are prepared also on board by a gourmet chef. Now with the gold leaf seating, in addition to having those roomy seats and the panoramic view, you do also um, have access to an outdoor viewing um, balcony, which is not available in the other level of service. So that's just a little added um, perk if you go with that level of service. And then of course um, you do, in addition to the meals, there are hosts that basically attend to your every need, um, fill your drink orders, answer questions. Um, it's just definitely a wonderful way to travel. For the other level of service, it's called the Silver Leaf, which is also a wonderful way to travel. It is a single level dome car, so you're still getting panoramic views just on one single level, and your meals are served to you as hot meals in your seat. Now, with both these levels of service, um, again, we don't overnight on board the train. So as far as your meals go, we do include breakfast and lunches. That's when we're on the train. Then we're on, we're off the train. Dinners are done at the hotels on your own. Now, the, we offer several itineraries through the Rockies on board the Rocky Mountaineer, so that way everyone can find a tour that best fits them. So it's always good to have that variety for you to pick from. And one such tour that uses the Rocky Mountaineer is called Canadian Rockies and Rocky Mountaineer. So it says it all right there in the title. This is an eight-day, seven-night trip. It's a fully escorted tour. And what that means, folks, is that it is from start to finish, you'll be traveling with a group and a tour guide. So as with many of our escorted tours, there is a suggested activity level to follow, um, just so that you make sure that this best fits your needs. They usually range from one to five, one being the lowest level, five being the highest level of activity. The activity level for this trip is three out of five, and it can best be described as such, that you're a natural explorer, you don't mind spending the day on your feet. You enjoy sightseeing that includes walking, standing, stair climbing. You're okay with longer days that are more active, such as multiple sightseeing stops, longer motor coach journeys, and getting on and off ships and trains. Now with this tour, just to give you a quick vacation overview, we do visit various locations throughout the Canadian Rockies um, and um, begins in Vancouver and ends in Calgary, as most of them you'll see do. Um, that way you can fly into Vancouver and then home from Calgary as there is a major international airport located there as well. Now you'll notice throughout this webinar today that I do like to give fun facts. So today we're gonna focus on fun facts pertaining to the Canadian Rockies. First one is snow can fall as late as June in the Rockies and as late as July at higher mountain altitudes. So for all you snowbirds out there that wish to see snow-capped mountains, this is something to keep in mind. Um, and Canadian Rockies are definitely a spot for you. Just to go over some highlights on this tour, we do travel two full days on board that scenic Rocky Mountaineer train. All the hotel nights, of which there are seven, are included as part of the tour. There are 11 meals that we take care of. That includes the meals on the train, off train. We do for any parts of the tour where we're not traveling by train, we're going from point A to point B, perhaps to sightsee or go through a park. Um, that is taken care of on board a deluxe motor coach. Your luggage handling is taken care of. Of course, you do have the services of that professional tour manager slash um, guide that we discussed included. And of course, since we are visiting national parks, the national park entrance fees are taken care of and included as well. Just some beautiful images of what you'll be seeing here um, while on tour. Look at the background top row. You'll see an image of Moline Lake, the Columbia Ice Fields, 
Sulphur Mountain and then the Vancouver skyline. And then you'll see in the forefront, that's an image of the actual Rocky Mountaineer train. Another train, as I mentioned, there are two that we um, utilize when in Canada. The other train that we ride through the Rockies on, um, and you can even do across country, is the Via Rail's Canadian train. Now, Via Rail is unlike the Rocky Mountaineer, which is a daylight train. Via Rail is a sleeper train. So this will actually allow you the experience of overnights on board the train, where you can also opt for a private sleeper cabin. So I know it's important to a lot of people to um, experience that through their trips. This um, train would be for you. The, we'll go over the different levels of service. The first one being what we call semi-private berths. Basically, if you think back to those old movies where passengers are traveling overnight on those old European trains and they have bunk beds, this will take you right back to that. So during the day, you would be in a car with other passengers seated by large picture windows. And at night, um, down the hall, you'd actually have bursts that also include a heavy curtain that you can draw for privacy. They, there are shared restrooms located down the hall as well. Next up is the cabin for one. So just as the title suggests, this is if you're traveling on your own, it's a single occupancy cabin. It is a private cabin where during the day you've got a seat by a large picture window. At night when you're at dinner, um, your cabin attendant will come reconfigure it for you so you have one lower bunk. Um, there is a toilet in your cabin and there is a shared shower located down the hall. Next up is the cabin for two, which is a private cabin where during the day you have two seats by a large picture window um, with a fold down table that comes down in between. So that way you can put your drinks, you can play cards. Um, and at night, again, while you're at dinner, the cabin attendant will come by, reconfigure it, and you'll have an upper and a lower berth. Getting up to the up upper berth is very easy. It's just about three steps. Um, there is, of course, you know, a sink, toilet. Um, and mirror in your cabin. And again, there is a shared shower that, that is located down the hall. Now, as you'll see with this next slide, um, there is also one more level of service that you can upgrade to. Um, it is the image on the right. It's called the Prestige Class. And it's about 50% larger than the cabin for two. And essentially, um, what it gives you is during the day, it gives you a modular leather L-shaped couch. And at night, one large lower Murphy bed for two facing the window. So that way, nobody has to go up and down on any berth. Um, it does include electric radiant heated cabin floors and walls that maintain a comfortable and constant temperature. And just some of the highlights is you do have personalized dedicated service of a concierge. Um, it's a spacious cabin. You've got large picture windows. With this one, you do get a private shower. So you have a, a sink, toilet, mirror, and a private shower including a flat screen TV with, with video selection and a stocked mini bar. So I know that's a little extra perk for a lot of people. And then that image on the left next to it is that private cabin for two that we discussed. Just some images um, of the dining car here you'll see. Um, basically, when you're on this train, if you have any overnights on board the train, you do have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So essentially, all of your meals are included and they are there are meal, um, menus, rather, um, with gourmet three-course menus that you get to pick from. If you have an allergy, just make sure that you're letting your agent know when you're booking your tour so that we can let them know. But also, if you let your um, wait staff know on board the train, they are able to um, they are able to assist just to make sure that they're avoiding any kind of allergen. We do, as with the Rocky Mountaineer, also on Via Rail, offer a wide range of tours on board the train that utilize that train. And one of the most popular ones is called our Canadian Rockies by Rail Tour. Now, this truly is one of the top tours in the Canadian Rockies for us. And reason being is that you're going to hit all the essential spots you need to hit in a reasonable amount of time. This is just a seven-day, six-night trip. And this, unlike the first tour, is what we call a fully independent trip. And that means that everything is set up for you, but you are traveling on your own, not with a group or a tour guide. Now, popular aspect with independent tours is that really you can move at your own pace when it's an independent trip. So that's something to keep in mind. 
During this tour, we do start with a day at leisure. Um, we discover the city of Vancouver. Then the following day, you board that Canadian route on board via rail for an overnight journey to Jasper. Once we're in Jasper, we have an overnight there, sightseeing. The following day, we um, on while we're traveling to Lake Louise, it's actually basically a full day tour that ends as a transfer. Um, on to, uh, it's an excursion to the Columbia Ice Fields en route to Lake Louise. And that's where you get to stop and visit the Athabasca Glacier, ride on board those big wheeled um, jammer bus on top of the glacier, visit the Skywalk. Um, onto, um, onto Lake Louise, where you have an overnight um, right by that Emerald Lake, that very famous lake that's in the postcards. Following day, it's just about a 35 minutes quick drive we take care of for you to Banff. Banff, if you're not familiar, is a very charming small mountain town nestled right in the middle of a national park. So we're there a couple of nights because there's quite a bit to do um, in that town. There's really, really exquisite boutiques, restaurants, charming so you can walk to the town as well sightseeing we do include the band's gondola that you can ride up to sulfur mountain to get a panoramic view of the park and then after your two nights in band we transfer you to calgary so you can make your own way home now time for our next fun fact of the canadian rockies and that is the rocky mountains are important habitat for a great deal of well-known wildlife such as elk moose mule and wild white-tailed deer pronghorn mountains uh, goats, bighorn sheep, badgers, black bears, grizzly bears, you name it. So I can go on for a lot longer. For all you animal lovers out there, the Canadian Rockies are the place to go if you want to see an abundance of wildlife. Quick uh, overview here of the highlights that are included with this trip. We do include a Vancouver lookout admission to tower in Vancouver that you can go up to the top and see a panoramic view of the city. Um, that Columbia Ice Fields excursion I mentioned that begins in Jasper and ends in Lake Louise includes a ride on board the Ice Explorer, um, which does take us over the Athabasca Glacier. You get to visit the Glacier Skywalk. In Banff, we include the sightseeing tour, including that sulfur mountain gondola that you get to ride up the mountain. Just some images here of what I just mentioned. Um, you'll see that at the top, that's an image, Lake Louise, that's Emerald Lake. Right next to it, that's the band gondola on its way up sulfur mountain. Below that are the Columbia ice fields. Um, and then you have an image and it's actually also the glacier skywalk right next to that, the Vancouver skyline. And then in the forefront, you have an image of Moline Lake. Another popular route on board Via Rail is the Jasper to Prince Rupert train, which actually travels over 1100 kilometers between the Rocky Mountains and the Northwest Pacific coast. Um, and this has really dramatic and diverse landscapes because the route takes in some of the most stunning scenery in Canada. Um, the next image or slide rather, you'll see these two images of the levels of service on board this train. Now, even though this is via rail, this route is just during the day. We don't sleep on the train. So the two levels to pick from are economy class and touring class. Um, first, you'll see on the right is the economy class. Um, it's best described to sit back in a roomy seat and take in the spectacular scenery. Um, then on the left is the touring class. You'll see that the, the seats are a little more spacious. You enjoy more of an unobstructed view because it is a panoramic dome car. Um, and you do get to eat a delicious hot meal that's offered on board with that level of service as well. A popular tour that utilizes this route is our Western Canada and Rocky, Rocky's Wildlife Adventure Tour. Just to give a quick overview here, this is a 13-day trip and 12 nights. So this is another fully independent tour, meaning that everything is set up for you, but you are traveling on your own, not with a group or a tour guide. And um, you'll see that it begins in Vancouver as well. Um, and we do um, end up in Calgary so that you can fly home from there. And time for our next Canadian Rockies fun fact, and that is because of their large presence in North America, water from the Rockies supplies a quarter of the United States. So that's actually really significant and just a neat fact that most people don't know. So that's a, a good takeaway for today. Some highlights throughout this tour. We do include a plane ride between Vancouver and Port Hardy. 
We do sightseeing cruise through the Inside Passage. Uh, we do a Victoria day trip. I know a lot of people would love to go there and maybe visit the Fairmont Empress and do tea, high tea that day. Uh, we do a Vancouver Sea to Sky tour. We include a wildlife discovery tour in Jasper. Again, we do the uh, Columbia Ice Fields as that is a staple, <laughs> including a ride on board the Ice Explorer and the Glacier Skywalk. Some images here in the future tour that you'll be taking. In the background, top images, Banff National Park. Right next to that is Prince Rupert Island. In the bottom images, you have the Athabasca Glacier I keep mentioning, mentioning that we get to ride on with the Ice Explorer, um, an image of Canada's Inside Passage with the sun setting there. And then in the forefront is an image of Shannon Falls, very famous falls as well. Now on to our next amazing tour. It's called the Pacific Northwest Rail Journey. This is an eight day trip, seven nights. This too is another popular one and fully independent, meaning it's all set up for you, but you are traveling on your own, not with a group or a tour guide. Just to give you a quick vacation overview here, it does begin in Vancouver. Um, we spend uh, some time getting to know the city, visiting the most iconic highlights, such as walking the shops of Robson Street, exploring the market on Granville Island, the list can go on, all the things you can do when in Vancouver. Then from Vancouver, what we'll do is we'll travel on board the Canadian train once again to Jasper, um, get to discover the unspoiled scenery of Jasper as you travel through the national park, visiting iconic sites such as Moline Lake. We looked at an image of that earlier and Medicine Lake. After Jasper, we'll board that famous Jasper to Prince Rupert train, the day train for your travel northwest. So instead of continuing on east, we go northwest. Um, stopping along the way, um, again, because this train only runs during the day, we stop and overnight at a hotel in Prince George, which is included in the tour, uh, before reaching the following day, the quaint town of Prince Rupert. Now, Prince Rupert, just uh, something to know, it is home to a multitude of fault, fun things to do and see, um, because there is an abundance of unique shops, cafes, excellent art galleries, so it's definitely a really fun place to visit. So a lot of our passengers love this tour. Um, quick fun fact, Canadian Rockies here. Like most mountain ranges, the Rocky Mountains have also been affected by severe erosion, which has caused the development of deep river canyons, as well as intermountain basins. This makes for some breathtaking scenery. Just imagine, it's really dramatic. And just uh, some quick highlights here. We do include that scenic, again, scenic ride on board via rails Jasper to Prince Rupert daylight train. The Vancouver Lookout Tower admission once again is included, um, Jasper sightseeing tour, and then sightseeing at your own leisure in Prince Rupert. Some images here. Um, top, you'll see that's the via rail, um, the train once again. Um, right next to that, we do have an image of Jasper. In the bottom row, we've got an image of the Vancouver skyline, a really cute grizzly bear, and then in the forefront is an image of Prince George. Now, are you an animal lover? I know I keep bringing it up because I really am. And if so, this tour is for you. It's called, and as the title mentions, our Grizzly Bears of Night Inlet with Jasper and Banff trip. So 100% for the animal lovers out there. This is an 11 day, 10 night trip. It is fully independent, again, meaning it's all set up for you, but you're traveling on your own, not with a group or a tour guide. And just to give you a quick vacation overview here, um, we do once again begin from British Columbia's coastline um, and travel to the heart of the Canadian Rockies. We begin in Vancouver. So with, of course, we go from the towering buildings and the historic sites all the way um, into the Canadian Rockies. We do um, continue our voyage to Campbell River on Vancouver Island, which is actually your gateway to Knight Inlet. Now, for those of you who don't know, you'll see it right there on the map. Knight Inlet is actually home to a large population of grizzly bears, um, as the title mentions. And during your time there, we're staying at the Knight Inlet Resort, you're actually treated to a myriad of opportunities to see them in their natural environment. Um, in addition to the, you know, viewing of the animals, there are other, you know, activities you can partake in. Um, for those who are maybe a little more active, there's kayaking, boating, hiking, outdoor adventures, so quite a bit to do there. And for our next Canadian Rockies fun fact, 
you can see some of the world's freshest water at the Columbia ice fields between Jasper and Bands. It's North America's hydrographic apex, meaning that the meltwater from the ice field flows into the Arctic, Atlantic, and Pacific Oceans. So actually uh, feeds into those three. So that's pretty significant. Just to give you some highlights of this tour here, um, we do include the night inlet bear viewing tours. Wildlife tracking excursion, including plaster print and casting, which is on my bucket list. A Glen a Glendale Cove interpretive forest walk, a Jasper rafting excursion, Columbia ice fields once again, we get to ride on that ice explore, Glacier Skywalk, and we do visit Lake Louise and Malie Moraine Lake rather. Um, and that's um, and we do include a dinner and a log cabin. That's uh, if that's something you've never done, it's certainly an amazing experience. Um, images here are, you'll see in the background, remember I mentioned that Banff is a pretty charming mountain town, there it is in the top image um, with those boutiques, it's very beautiful, followed by an image of Bow Valley, the Glacier Skywalk, the Via Rail train, and again another cute grizzly in the forefront for you. Now, you don't have to only travel during the summer. If you're a snowbird like me, you'd also love any of our winter tours in Western Canada because you'd get to experience the best, really, of what the Canadian wilderness in the winter um, has to offer. You get to discover spectacular scenery as well as vibrant Canadian cities. Winter is actually also an ideal time to travel because the rates are normally lower with the foot traffic being less and the let trains are less crowded for folks who would like fewer people on there. The staff has more time to share their own tales of the rails, if you will, <laughs> with you. So that's another time of the year to consider traveling. Also, for any of our tours that are independent, which the majority of them in the Canadian Rockies and Western Canada are, with many of those, you can actually opt to upgrade your experience. You can enhance your experience with any of the upgrades that include adding on excursions, maybe add a cruise, extra hotel nights, or possibly just upgrade the hotels or class of service that you're traveling on. Each independent package includes different options, so please be sure to speak with your rail specialist for any additional ideas when you call in. Anyone here can assist. And with that, I'll go ahead and turn this back over to Kristen. Thank you folks so much for joining me here today. All right, thank you so much, Suzanne. That was, uh, that was a great presentation. Um, so, that, so with all that said, that's gonna bring us to our next question. Which, um, which experience most appeals to you in Western Canada? It can be anything from the wildlife viewing that Suzanne mentioned, the outdoor or indoor activities, the rail experiences, or if anything else stood out to you, feel free to let us know. We'd love to hear all of your input. And be sure to let us know in the GoToWebinar question box. So we'll give you a couple seconds to get those answers in. So, so far, just uh, keep submitting those answers, folks. But so far, we're getting a lot of answers saying that the rail experience is the most important to a lot of you. Um, it's all important. It's all great. But a lot of the answers are saying the, the rail experiences, which is a fantastic answer because there's so many ways to experience Western Canada by rail, which is um, by the overnight sleeper train that Suzanne mentioned, the Via Rail Canadian, or the daylight trains, like the Rocky Mountaineer. So, um, there, it's a, there's a lot of fantastic scenery to see and, and that can only be seen by rail in most cases and that just makes the journey truly special. Um, so moving on, if you want to learn more about our destinations, costs, itineraries and more, you can go online or call a rail specialist to request any uh, to request any of our available brochures. You can request a brochure or get more information by calling us at 877-929-7245 or by going online at vacationsbyrail.com. And now we're going to open it up for some questions that you had during the presentation that um, Suzanne will be able to graciously answer. And just a reminder to please submit an, uh, any questions in the GoToWebinar question box. For the sake of time, we'll only get to a few, so if you don't hear your question answered today, there's no worries about that. A rail specialist will reach out to you after the presentation to make sure your question gets answered. Um, so Suzanne, if you're ready for our first question, it's where is the luggage, luggage stored for overnight rail trips? 
Sure, that's a good question. So for any of our overnight rail trips, um, when you're, you can actually bring on a carry-on bag with you, um, and you can also check a bag. So whatever you need, though, for when you're on an overnight train, make sure you have in your carry-on or on your person, because with your check luggage, just like when you're on an airliner, um, you won't have access to it until you're off again. When you are in a semi-private berth, those ones that I mentioned are like those old European uh, trains, there are overhead compartments where you can store your carry on in the front of the car, there's a cove, you can put it in there as well. When you're in private cabins, whether it's cabin for one, cabin for two, or the prestige, um, you can take your carry on in your cabin as well. Um, there is an overhead compartment where you can store your, your carry ons in there as well. Awesome. Thanks so much. Um, our next question is, are the independent vacations fully customizable? Just going off a little bit what you said earlier about upgrading. They sure are. So here's one thing to keep in mind, however, both the Via Rail train and the Rocky Mountaineer don't run every day. They run a couple of times a week. So you just want to make sure that it is matching up with the schedule of when the train is going to be running. Um, and so whether um, you want to add on extra nights or just upgrade, make sure you're talking to your agent about it. They are, for the most part, fully customizable in that you can upgrade services. However, to add on extra hotel nights, 100% at the beginning and end of the tour and with many of them in the in the middle as well we just have to make sure we're coordinating it with the schedule of the train so again be sure to discuss those options with your booking agent awesome thanks and our next question is what is the cost in uh, the accommodations for single travelers Sure. So first we'll talk about the accommodations. Any accommodations that two folks are sharing, you're also going to get as a single occupancy passenger. Um, un unless it's the cabin for one on board via rail, then that cabin um, is just for one. You know, it is a little smaller than the cabin for two. However, the hotel rooms are the same. You don't have to share with anyone. They are all for you. As far as cost of trips for single travelers, there's not a specific percentage that is added on. It is unique to every tour. There's a single occupancy tour cost. So once you do look at a specific tour, just make sure to ask your rail agent and they'll be able to get you the single occupancy tour price. Great. Thanks, Suzanne. And our last question for today is, are meals included in the trip that you mentioned? Or in any of sure. So. Sure. Mm -hmm. So if you recall, when we discussed the escorted tour, um, there were 11 meals that were included. So a lot of the meals were included and taken care of. With the escorted, where we don't include meals is because there's quite a bit to choose from. So if you want to break away from the group and dine on your own, then you're certainly able to do so. With the independent trips, your meals on the trains are included. So with the Rocky Mountaineer, the breakfast, some lunches are included. And then with Via Rail for any overnight trains, breakfast, lunch, and dinners are included. When you're at the hotels, however, they are not, so you'll be taking care of those independently of us. Awesome, thank you so much, Suzanne. That, those were great questions and great answers. So that actually wraps up our online presentation for today. So thank you so much, everyone, for attending. We look forward to sending you a brochure that you requested or by hearing from you, or by hearing from you by calling us at 877-929-7245. Um, if you'd like to receive a call from one of our rail specialists to answer your questions about these destinations or otherwise, please leave a call back number in the chat box and someone will be in touch. And be sure to be on the lookout for our special offer exclusively for webinar attendees. Also, uh, be sure to keep an eye out for more information on next week's online presentation, What's New in North America on Tuesday uh, for 2021. So that will be on Tuesday, June 30th. That wraps it up for, every, for today, everyone. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. We hope to see you again soon. Thank you.